Straight ahead, chaos in a San Diego neighborhood. A military jet crashing near a busy neighborhood. At least one house on fire. Our coverage on this developing story continues. A mother drops her baby off at a daycare, but then picks her up in the hospital after something goes horribly wrong. Just one station with the story. A South Florida beach safer tonight after police say they have the man they've been looking for in a string of violent attacks, including one rape. A courthouse back in business. And veterinarians on a mission to save a manatee in bad shape. The News at 6 starts now. Live from the news station, this is 7 News at 6. A baby badly burned. A mother outraged. This could have happened to anyone's child. But a business owner saying it was an accident. There were sufficient employees in the classroom, and when it happens like that, it's considered an incident. As police try to determine if there's danger at daycare. Good evening, everyone. A South Florida mother thought she was leaving her baby in good hands. But she's now taking legal action after what happened inside a child care center. Simmons Rosh Lowe at the news desk with this exclusive. Rosh? Craig, I want to warn you, some of the pictures of this baby are tough to see. This baby spent days in the hospital, and now the baby's mother says she's speaking out to make sure this doesn't happen to another child. This one's in the This was taken October 15th, the happy baby that he is. This right here is when I made it to the hospital and when they told me it was a small burn and this is what the burn started looking like when I got there. This is the side shot of the burn where it burnt his hair off around that way. Robert Porter was eight months at the time he suffered these burns all over his face. It led to an extended hospital stay. According to a lawsuit filed, the incident happened at the Uncle Charles Learning Center in Lauder Hill. The suit alleges Robert was left unattended and allowed to crawl around the area of a hot water bottle heater which spilled on top of his head. This could have happened to anyone's child. This could have blinded my child and yet no one from your school showed any kind of remorse. What happened was he pulled the cord to a bottle warmer and it fell and that's how he was burned. But uh, DCF came out, they checked everything out, child care licensing came out, they closed the case, um, they, you know, there were sufficient employees in the classroom and when it happens like that, it's considered an incident. The Lauder Hill Police Department says the case is not closed. If it's your job to take care of children, you know, you should do the best that you can to ensure their safety uh, at all times. And we don't feel it was intentional, but it quite possibly could be neglect. And there is another allegation. After Robert was burned, 911 was not called. At the point that when I saw what had happened, I no longer am my owner. I'm a mom at that point. And I'm thinking in my head, I can get this child to the hospital quicker than I can wait on them to get here. I mean, it took us less than four minutes to get the baby to the hospital. So at that point, I'm no longer an owner. I mean, I'm not this big corporation. I'm a single mother, three kids, just trying to make an honest living. Are you looking into why paramedics were not called? That's a question we'd want to answer. For them not to call anybody, but just to transport the child uh, after we don't know what period of time uh, is a big concern. This is all the burn mark. Hold on, baby. This is all the burn mark here, all on the side, and up in here where it burnt the camera also. And if they say, my baby scarred, somebody has to pay for this, your response would be? I don't think it, they're really even making it about the baby. I really think it's about themselves because, you know, I love all my children. So the daycare owner says she believes this is all motivated by money. Time and again, she calls this an unfortunate incident. For mom, this is much more than misfortune. She says this was her baby's pain, her baby's cries, and her baby's face. We are live at the news desk, Rochlow 7 News.
We continue to follow a developing story in Southern California, a military mistake in a San Diego neighborhood, a deadly one there. Seven's Reed Cowan has the updated information from the Plex. Reed? We are just now learning that two people, in fact, on the ground have died in this crash of a military F-A-18 jet. This crash literally shook a San Diego neighborhood, sending hundreds running in the direction of the smoke and flames to see what on earth this was. The F-A-18, just two miles away from its landing location at a Marine Corps Air Base. It's called Miramar. You might have seen it in Top Gun. Well, that's when something went completely wrong. Reports saying that smoke was coming out of its tail. The plane crashed into a ball of fire. It took out two homes atop this San Diego hillside neighborhood. The pilot ejecting just before he crashed, reportedly holding on till the very end. He landed in his seat on the football field at a high school just a block away from where his jet went down. Here's what one witness had to say just moments ago. We heard two loud booms and then just a few moments later, a huge black plume of smoke. The fuselage is in the street and it, it's probably too hot to, to, to touch, but there are probably two to four houses that, that, that are, are, are completely destroyed. I thought for certain, seeing the smoke, seeing the flames, it's seeing all the fire and police that this would never turn out the way that that no one would be injured. Of course, that was just moments ago before we learned the news that in fact, not only injuries, but two deaths from the crash of this F.A. 18 military jet. Incidentally, just two years ago, almost to the day, an F-18 crashed in this very same neighborhood. In that instance, just like today, the pilot was able to eject to safety and nobody was injured on the ground at that point. Of course, now we know that this has turned out to be a tragedy. Now begins the investigation, the FAA already on the scene, and at this point there are more questions than answers. I'll be back in a half hour with more on what we're hearing from a live news conference. Live in the Plex, Reed Cowan, 7 News. A cold snap across South Florida to start the work week, but it will be short-lived as temperatures head higher. Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow is in the Weather Center with more. Phil? You guys are correct. It was a chilly start to the day. Check out some of these morning lows. 52 in Perrine, 53 Pompano Beach, West Kendall and Pembroke Pines, 54, 55 in Hollywood. Fort Lauderdale, one degree warmer, and the warm spot was Miami with 58 degrees. Ever since then, it's been a beautiful day, partly cloudy skies and very mild as far as the temperatures are concerned. We still have high pressure and firm control, and the breeze coming in off the ocean could bring us a sprinkle or two, but we don't foresee a lot of activity. And then over the next couple of days, this high pressure system will retreat back into the open waters of the Atlantic. We're going to see a warm up all across South Florida, highs in the 80s with a better chance of some rainfall later in the week. And we're taking a look at this front. It looks like a strong front. We don't foresee big temperature changes for us, but it will bring plenty of moisture with it. Right now, sitting across Texas, the jet stream is digging south, and it could arrive here on Thursday with a better chance for some thunderstorms. I'll have a lot more on this in the local forecast coming up in weather. Also here on 7 News at 6 o'clock, police busting the person they say was stalking couples on the sand along a South Florida beach. 7's Don Guevara is live on the scene. He is in Pompano Beach with more on the arrest. Don? Belkis, we're on Brinney Ave and Southeast 4th Street, and behind me is a stretch of beach about six blocks wide where police say this guy was attacking his victims. And what you can't tell right now because of our lights, it's very dark out here. There are no lights because of some turtle nesting issues, which only made it easier for this guy to attack. Donovan. Uh, Karen conceal weapon. He is Donovan Bryan, 25 years old, attended Rutgers University, and according to BSO, has been terrorizing Pompano Beach. This violent person who was preying on couples is no longer out there. He has been taken into custody. Police arrested Brian early Sunday morning near the spot they say he struck four times before. They say his rampage began in late October, his last strike the end of November. First armed robbery, then escalating to rape. It's very scary. Obviously, I'm not going to go roaming around by myself anymore. Frankly, I was very surprised. Um, <clears throat> this has not happened, uh, to my knowledge, since I've been here for seven years. Police say Brian targeted couples walking on the sand early in the morning. He wore this mask and carried a gun. After increasing patrols, police went undercover over the weekend. They spotted Brian acting suspicious on the beach. When they checked his car, they found his mask and his gun inside. 
Neighbors of this quiet beachside community say they feel safe again. Getting more and more off the streets is better and better, so I'm very happy for it. And a little bit more on Brian. BSO says he's in the country illegally. He's originally from Jamaica, and at the time of these crimes, he lived in Coconut Creek. We're live tonight in Pompano Beach, Don Guevara, 7 News. Also in the news here at 6 o'clock this evening, investigators combing for clues in the Everglades after a sky-high horror there. Crews finding the bodies of four people killed in a mid-air collision in the swampy marshland near Everglades Holiday Park. One of the victims, a flight instructor, Stephen Brown, or Stuart Brown from Pembroke Pines, Colorado businessman Brian Sachs also killed in the accident. Two planes headed to a flight training area in West Broward Saturday when it happened. The NTSB now working to figure out what precisely went wrong. A business burned down in Miami, fire breaking out at a bakery on Northwest 20th Street and 22nd Avenue. Firefighters taken to the roof to try and put the fire out. The bakery was closed at the time. The cause, fire officials say, an electrical problem. Hot wheels at a car shop in Miami. Flames racing through a vehicle at Singer Auto Sales Yard on Northwest 36th Street and 22nd Avenue. The car being repaired at the time. Firefighters managing to keep the fire from spreading to other vehicles or businesses nearby. Now at 6 o'clock, order in the court days after justice was put on hold by a flood of trouble. It is back to business for judges and juries in Broward County. But as far as the cleanup, it's not quite case closed yet. 7's Blake Berman with more now from Fort Lauderdale. Eager to go to court? That's a rarity. But on this day, the Broward County Courthouse jam-packed. I couldn't get in last week at all. At least we're able to get in the courthouse today. Court back in session, but the courthouse not back to normal. Floors one and two. Uh, those floors that where we're standing now are still not ready for employees to work and they have to get an okay from the county. An improvised help desk just past security, empty offices and hallways turned into storage facilities. Just some of the after effects. Oh, we ain't got no court today, yeah, it's closed. When a pipe burst on the second floor last week that sent water everywhere, from judges' chambers to the communications room, the courthouse shut down all week and it's no stranger to closures. In February, a backed up sewage pipe shut the place down. For now, the clerk of court says the courthouse is functioning at 50 to 60 percent. Circuit criminal, uh, probate, and juvenile, uh, they're open. Uh, they're also uh, you know, traffic court. The estimated price tag for the latest closure, $2 million. The headaches it's caused, well, that's still ongoing. We had expected to be able to come in, but because the room's not dry yet, we're just trying to find alternate ways to get the work at least in some semblance of order. Well, the clerk of court's telling us that as the week progresses, more things should come back online here at the courthouse. But don't try to pick up the phone just yet and call because the phone system is still down and it could be that way for weeks. That is the very latest at the Broward County Courthouse in Fort Lauderdale, Blake Berman, 7 News. We continue to follow that breaking news in Southern California. Reaction coming in now after a military jet plows into a San Diego neighborhood, resulting in two deaths. We'll have the latest at the top of the hour. A victim of a horrifying holdup at a South Florida business losing his fight for life just as police link one of the suspects to another murder. Police out in riot gear as anger continues to boil over overseas. Find out what prompted all this. And a major mission to help a gentle giant. We'll have a live report on this after the break. Star crash safety rated Acura MDX at the drive home for the holidays event. Celebrate the season with low finance and lease offers. Visit your Acura dealer or shopacura.com. Do you answer 12, Mom? Mom? When your sinuses are blocked with pressure and congestion, everything seems harder. Rush. seems harder when your sinuses are blocked. Nothing works faster on nasal congestion than the medicine in new Sudafed OM nasal spray. Sudafed OM, unblock your head. Always ready. ready. Always working. Always on the go. Go, go. Never stop. Never need a new 
Right now, Kia is making it even easier to get into a new car by creating the biggest deal you've ever seen. For a limited time only, we're offering huge savings on our full line of quality cars, SUVs, and minivans, with up to $5,000 cash back on select models. With savings like these, we think you'll agree. It's a really big deal. Hurry in and get up to 5,000 cash back or 0% APR at the Kia Big Deal event. And check out the new Soul at your local Kia retailer. Checkers is going to knock you out with some serious Philly flavor. Checkers new Philly cheesesteak burger. It's a burger with real Philly steak topped with grilled onions and melty cheese. Your choice. Two Philly burgers, just four bucks. Or a Philly combo, just four bucks. You got to eat. Little place, big taste. That's Checkers. Veterinarians on a manatee mission hoping to help an animal badly injured off the coast. The gentle giant seemed to be trying to get up to shore to get help. Tonight it's getting the TLC it so desperately needs. Seven's Roy Ramos is live at the Miami Sea Aquarium where the manatee is in for some round the clock care there. Roy? Bell case that right. That manatee uh, receiving some pretty bad injuries about a week ago. Now you can see he's in the tank here behind me, getting some much needed rest before veterinarians can take a better look at him early tomorrow morning. That 11 foot manatee arriving at Miami Sea Aquarium Monday evening around 4:30. There you see several people nursing that manatee, cleaning his wounds, preparing to place him inside of a tank where they will better care for the animal and possibly nurse him back to health. This all coming after local Keys residents find the injured animal last Thursday with some severe injuries to his skull by the prop of a passing boat just off a of mile marker 30. After officials attempt to rescue that animal, initially they fail. It's through the second attempt today where that 19 foot documented manatee, excuse me, the 19 year documented manatee, Sequarium officials have named Blitzen, is rescued and taken into the care of Miami Sequarium officials where they will better be able to care for him. You know, we'll work closely with the wounds, see if we can close it up. With manatees, almost all marine mammals, we sometimes can't put stitches on them. So it's not like we can go in and, and, and close them up. Sometimes we have to let them close up on their own. But, but, but certainly we've, you know, come a long way in trying to encourage the wound to, to heal up. So if everybody can please keep an eye out for manatees. They're in our area already. Um, you know, if you can go slower, you know, especially abide by the no wake speed zones that are out there. And, you know, definitely don't throw any trash out there. But this is a harsh reminder that manatees are down here and so are the people. People, so we need to just watch out for them. Now, according to Miami Sea Aquarium officials, they tell us that Blitzen will remain here in this tank you see behind me for the next, uh, well, until tomorrow, until they be able to drain the tank down, get some x-rays, and get the full extent of the damage and injuries that he received. In Key Biscayne, Roy Ramos, 7 News. All right, Roy, thanks much. Well, so to come tonight, thieves breaking into a Florida pet store, but they may have thrown police a bone in their manhunt. The story all new at 6.30. One inmate's fiery cry for attention behind bars, setting some other inmates free. And a chilly start to the work week. It was cold this morning, 52 at Perrine, West Kendall and Pembroke Pines 54. And actually the warm spot was Miami with 58 degrees. Boy, enjoy it because we're up back to the 80s by tomorrow. The entire forecast in just a couple of minutes. Seven Weather, brought to you exclusively by your local Toyota dealers. The biggest event of the year just got bigger. The Toyotathon of Toyotathons is here, and you can get the deal of all deals on a new Toyota. With savings so good, it's easy to see why Toyota has the best overall value of any brand. Now, lease a new 2009 Toyota Camry LE for $239 a month. That's $239 a month for the best-selling car in America. Don't miss out. Hurry to the Toyotathon of Toyotathons today. Toyota, moving forward. It's a brand new day. Ross has the toys and games kids want to play.
those brand name toys you pay big bucks for? You'll find at Ross at itty bitty prices. Yes, at Ross, it's brand new day. All year, cooling and heating has the best prices on air conditioners. Guaranteed. Ream 3 ton units, 13 sear. 24.59. Ream 4 ton units, 13 sear. 28.99. All year, cooling and heating has the best prices. Guaranteed. Free estimate, call 954 566 4644. South Motors Honda has millions to lend. Over 200 Accord LXs, loaded 138 a month. Striving to be number one by making you number one. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey is taking you over the top for the greatest show on earth. Hang on to your hat. Ticket prices starting at $15. Same January 8th through the 19th at American Airlines Arena. Get your tickets today at Ticketmaster. Are you ready for digital television? Starting February of 2009, you may need this box to convert your antenna TV to digital TV. Complete details at WSVN.com. Or call 1-888-DTV-2009. This is all you'd get at a department store for $136. But at Ross, you'll get the same outfit. Plus the shoes, the bag, the wrap, the jewelry, even the designer watch. And still get a little change. Ross, it's a brand new day. 7 News, brought to you in part by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15%. Remember the Joneses and all their stuff? and how people were always trying to keep up? Well, some of us woke up instead. We no longer want big and flashy. We want real, true, and honest. We want to stand on solid ground, and we want a bank that does the same. A bank that's here to help us prosper, whatever our definitions of prosper may be. Live solid. Bank solid. SunTrust. I'll tell you a little secret. I use fresh herbs to bring out the flavor of my homemade dishes. Now I can get fresh herbs all year round with the Gourmet Chia Herb Garden. It contains everything you need to grow fresh herbs right in your own kitchen. And with the patented chia growing sponge, you don't have to bother with messy potting soil. Just place a moistened chia sponge in each clay pot, sprinkle on the herb seeds, and watch it grow. Fresh herbs are always at my fingertips. I bought one for my mother, my friend, and myself. Available at Target, Walgreens, CVS, and Kmart. What's the perfect gift for cat lovers? Introducing Ch -ch -ch Chia. Chia Cat Grass, the Chia for cats. Your cat may be tempted by your favorite plants. Remove the temptation. Get your cat the treat they love. It's easy. Plant the Chia Cat Grass seeds, water, and watch it grow. Ch -ch -ch Chia. Kitties can't resist. Chia Cat Grass with Sylvester and Tweety, the perfect gift for cats and cat lovers. Available at Walgreens, CBS, Kmart, and Drugstore.com. It's a special time of year. <laughs> time to give the ones you love the power to own the road. Yeah. Celebrate the season of Audi with over 130 channels of Sirius Satellite Radio and enjoy no payments at signing when you lease or finance select Audi models. Don't let this happen to your TV. After February 17th, the way you receive television will change. And if you have an older model set and still use rabbit ears or an outdoor antenna, you could end up without a picture. But don't worry, a converter box may solve your reception problem. To find out if you're ready for the DTV transition and how to get a $40 converter box coupon, call this number or visit WSVN.com. Now, time for 7 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Phil Barrow. We're in for a beautiful evening all across South Florida. 72 degrees right now, Miami, partly cloudy skies. Same in Fort Lauderdale with a temperature of 73 degrees. And for you in Key West, uh, mostly cloudy and a temperature of 72. Local storm tracking radar, nothing to report. Everything looks nice and dry from Lake Okeechobee south through Key West. High pressure is in firm control, so for tonight it will be very nice. Temperatures, the lows will be about 10 degrees warmer than they were this morning. By tomorrow afternoon, there is a line of moisture setting up shop, basically from Broward and Palm Beach into the Carolinas. Possibility of a shower, but we are going to be warm with highs near 80 degrees. Then towards the middle of the week, 
We're going to continue to be in that uh, southeasterly flow, so it'll be warm and humid. Then this front could clear South Florida on Thursday and bring us a better chance with some showers and thunderstorms. Threat of rip currents at the beaches tonight. Small craft exercise caution. The bay with a moderate chop. For you throughout the lower Florida Keys, also with an advisory, near shore waters choppy. For this evening, partly cloudy, very nice. 69 at the coast, 64 inland. For you in the Florida Keys, lows near 70. By tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds. Average highs about 78, 79 degrees. We're looking at the low 80s. And here is your extended outlook. It looks like by Thursday that front should be nearing and we could see a better chance for thunderstorms. And that's your 7 on 7 forecast. Thanks, Phil. We appreciate it. So much for the uh, winter wardrobe, huh? May as well put everything back. Give it time. The cool weather will be back. We've been lucky this year. Cold still, front after cold front. I'll still throw on the boots, though. I could do I could do boots, even though it might warm up a little. Boots are cool. They work. Yes. You know who's got some pretty good-looking boots? He was sporting them over the weekend. He's got to have something good-looking. <laughs> oh, see, that's what happens when you have extra time. Sports Shappy, director I love you. Steve Shapiro, you are the man. From time now for seven sports with Steve Shapiro. I do know this, that they're in position to win the division. They can finish no worse than 500. What a turnaround for the Dolphins. They beat the Bills yesterday. They only needed one touchdown to do it. 16 to three was the final. The defense comes up with big plays. The Dolphins have not allowed a touchdown in two games. Eight and five now and tied for first. So there's a belief in the locker room right now, and I've seen it start to happen uh, in different periods throughout the course of the season. Uh, so surprised, I think right now, you know, they're going into games pretty confident. They believe that they, they understand how to win and how to lose uh, in this league, and that if they give themselves a chance to win, uh, you know, their resiliency comes out. Ricky Williams rushed for 40 yards on 11 carries. Not too special, but the crowd loves him up there. Two years ago, Ricky played for Toronto in the Canadian League while he was suspended from the NFL. It was nice. I mean, uh, you know, I, I hope to come back, to come back here and the fans, you know, remember me and, and have nice things to say about me. And it was, it was great to hear him cheering for me. When I first got in, it was kind of nostalgic coming back to Toronto where I spent six months and uh, family came up on the trip and it was, it was nice. San Francisco here next week. The Gators are one-and-a-half-point underdogs in the championship game against Oklahoma. Both starting quarterbacks are likely finalists for the Heisman Trophy. The Gators' Tim Tebow, he won the Heisman last year. The Heisman will be awarded Saturday night in New York. As a former winner, Tebow gets a vote this year, and he was asked if he'll vote for himself. It kind of does feel a little weird, you know? Have you ruled out voting for yourself? No. <laughs> I don't know. I really have to sit down and uh, I just want to put down who, who I think has the best season. If there's an important football game, we've got it on your channel of champions, the national championship, the Gators in Oklahoma, January 8th only on Channel 7. I guess you got to give it to him. Alabama coach Nick Saban is the SEC coach of the year. He finished the regular season 12 and 0 and ranked number one. Tebow, by the way, is the SEC Offensive Player of the Year for the second straight year. Dwayne Wade is the Eastern Conference Player of the Week for the second time this season. He averaged 33 points a game last week. He leads the NBA in scoring. The Heat host Charlotte tonight. Even though the Bobcats are awful, last month they beat the Heat in Charlotte just 7-13 and 13 now. But the Heat found out the hard way. You cannot take them lightly. Yeah, they're very disruptive, aggressive defensively. They get you out with out of what you normally want to do, and that's what happened to us last game. Um, they turned us sideways offensively and then uh, really attacked the rim offensively where we weren't able to protect the paint, and, and uh, they got us on our heels the whole night. After a 4-15 and start, the Minnesota Timberwolves fired coach Randy Whitman. Taking over is general manager Kevin McHale. It's the second time McHale has left the front office to coach the T-Wolves. It's already the fourth coaching firing in the NBA this season. And Jeff Conine, hired today as a special assistant to the Marlins. That's it. I'm Steve. Back to Craig and Buck. Shappy did a fine job considering... The consummate professional. That's it for us at 6. 
Thanks for watching. I'm Craig Stevens. I'm Balky's Narrate. Ciao, ciao. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock. But 7 News at 6.30 is round the bend. Good night. Splurging is dated. To Target they darted for presents of plenty. Train sets, cute dogs, gifts under 20. Waggies, robots, and shiny new rockets. They shopped and still had cash in their pockets. For once, Scrooge approved. He ranted and raved. There's no place like Target at Christmas to save. Live from the news station, this is 7 News at 6.30. Dramatic home video right now at 6.30 of an explosive emergency in a San Diego neighborhood when a military plane slams into the ground and tonight the results are deadly. The F-18 coming in for a landing at the time when it went down. And we know at this hour at least two homes, several cars also went up in flames. 73 Cowan is live in the Plax with the latest for us on our top story read. Well, we have this new information tonight. Two people have died in this jet crash. This is the latest. The deaths were at a home where two children, a mother and a grandmother, were believed to be inside. News now hitting this quiet San Diego neighborhood hard. Or we heard two loud booms, and then just a few moments later, a huge black plume of smoke. A military F-A-18 jet inbound to Miramar Military Base outside San Diego, starting to smoke and spin in the sky. There are two confirmed fatalities, and two homes were destroyed. Witnesses on the ground watching in horror as it comes toward them. And it just spiraled right out of Top Gun. It came flying down. My mom screamed, said it was on the next street. Pilot from Miramar. Witnesses say the plane's pilot ejected as the plane made the plummet that was unavoidable. What's incredible is that where the pilot landed when he injected was in the high school baseball field of University High School. Wow. This pilot held on to the very end. The end result, devastating. Homes destroyed. The, the fuselage is in the street, and it, it's probably too hot to, to, to touch. But there are probably two to four houses that, that, that are, are, are completely destroyed. This is the second time a military jet has crashed in this hilly part of San Diego. Those on the ground saying they live with constant worry this could happen. This, this is a problem, though, that the plane, the proximity to our, to our homes is something that's always been a concern. You can see the pilots banking at 90 degrees. Um, man, oh, man. You're concerned. But all right, and so the very latest into the Plex, once again, news out of San Diego, two people killed and now from witnesses that the home that was destroyed is where two children, a grandmother and a single mother are believed to have lived. Of course, this scene is still unfolding and as we get more information tonight, we'll turn it around for you. In the Plex, Reed Cowan, 7 News. Now on 7 News at 6.30, up and down. That's the way our weather has been lately as you look live from the camera on top of our Channel 7 studios. And by the looks of it, the roller coaster ride will continue. Chief Meteorologist Phil Farrow is in the Weather Center with all this. Phil? You know, guys, this morning we saw temperatures, wake-up temperatures in the 50s, and it's been a very pleasant day. But by tomorrow, the highs will be in the 80s. This is how we woke up this morning, 52 in Perrine, Pompano Beach, 53, 54 over West Kendall, and Pembroke Pines for you in Hollywood, 55, one degree warmer in Fort Lauderdale. And Miami was actually the warm spot this morning with 58 degrees. Now, it's been a beautiful afternoon, partly cloudy skies, a nice breeze coming in off the ocean. And what we have is high pressure that's sitting just offshore. That could maybe push in an isolated sprinkle during the next 12 to 24 hours. Now, in the long haul, we're going to see this high pressure move a little bit to the east a better chance for some showers, and it's going to be drawing up a lot of heat and humidity, so it's going to be warm. But then there is a cold front that could move in right around Thursday and bring us a better chance of thunderstorms. Right now, it's sitting across Texas. The jet stream is digging south and pushing it in our direction, so it looks like by then, by Thursday, we could be needing the umbrella across South Florida. I'll have a lot more on this on the local forecast coming up in weather.
A difficult day for the family of a Dunkin' Donuts robbery victim. The 56-year-old man dying days after taking a bullet in the back during one of the most violent holdups lately by a group of self-proclaimed gang members. He had been in critical condition since being shot at a Dunkin' Donuts in the 4900 block of North State Road 7 in Tamarack on Thanksgiving night. One of the five men arrested in connection to that robbery is now facing murder charges. Seven Sky Force over I-95 where a truck lost its load of PVC pipe in the Golden Glades interchange. Pipes landing on the road and on the ramp from the I westbound of the Palmetto. Only one lane is open. No injuries have been reported. O.J. Simpson has been moved. Simpson transferred to Nevada State Prison, an all-male medium security facility not far from Las Vegas. 61-year-old sentenced Friday to 33 years in prison following his conviction on armed robbery and kidnapping charges. He could be eligible for parole in nine years. His lawyers are planning an appeal. Well, a security concern on board an airplane at Miami International Airport. American Airlines flight 1711 grounded for part of the morning after a passenger thought she saw another passenger with a knife. The flight was heading to Santo Domingo. All 186 passengers were deplaned and had to be rescreened. They're spending quite a bit of time with each person. They're patting everybody down and emptying pockets and uh, looking under shirts and being very, very uh, thorough here. No weapons were found. The flight took off a short time later. So, do we have a deal on wheels? Congressional Democrats sending the White House a draft of the $15 billion bailout plan, but White House officials, at least so far, are giving it a cool response. However, some investors appear excited about this plan. Yeah, and that made for a very good day on Wall Street. Well, a good day, maybe not very. Simmons, Richard Jordan, live in the Newsplex to show us. Richard? Lynn, not all the news is good, but the market responded well. The Dow ended up almost 300 points at 89.34. The Nasdaq finishing up 62 points at 15.71. And the S&P made gains up almost 34, closing at 909. The rally was steered by the auto deal that makes millions of dollars, billions in fact, available by next week. Congressional leaders sent the bill to the White House. The initial response is weak. Apparently, there is at least one issue President Bush has with the plan, which is not the reaction some people have been praying for. Three hybrid SUVs take center stage on the pulpit at the Greater Grace Temple in Detroit, a message to drive home the need to save the auto industry. The car giants would stall without the help. If we push these companies into bankruptcy, Who's going to buy a car from them? The plan would loan GM, Ford, and Chrysler between 15 and 17 billion dollars. The deal includes an oversight board headed by a car czar to regulate the automakers. He or she could pull the funds if they want next year. There will be limits on how much executives will make and a payback plan that guarantees the taxpayers would be reimbursed before the shareholders. If they don't meet the conditions of restructuring and the rest, there's not going to be an endless flow of money to this industry to continue left to their own devices uh, the uh, practices they have been engaged in. Most of the money comes from Energy Department funds earmarked to help the automakers build more fuel efficient cars. This has been 30 years in the making. This so-called bridge loan to nowhere was, will be the first down payment of many. GM CEO Richard Wagner could hit the road. There are calls for his resignation. This management team that's currently in place doesn't understand the urgency of the situation and is not willing to make the tough choices and adapt to these new circumstances. Uh, then uh, they should go. In November alone, 533,000 jobs were lost nationwide. 200 workers let go last week demanding their severance and vacation pay. They want bailout money used to save them. Their employer, Republic Windows and Doors in Chicago, forced to shut down. The company's credit line cut by Bank of America. Illinois' governor ordered all state agencies to stop doing business with the bank in hopes of putting some pressure on them. The federal bailout money is moving fast. There is $15 billion of the $350 billion in the first installment left. And there's more trouble. Tribune Company, the media giant that owns the Sun Sentinel, the Chicago Tribune, the Los Angeles Times, and the Chicago Cubs, is filing for bankruptcy. Congressional leaders are optimistic Bush will come around on the auto deal. A vote could happen as early as tomorrow. And that's a move investors will be watching closely.
Live in the Newsplex, Richard Jordan, 7 News. Richard, thank you. Anger in Athens. It continues after police kill a teenager. Police fatally shot a 16-year-old in Greece over the weekend, and that led to massive riots across Athens and several other cities. Thousands of youth taking to the streets, many of them hooded and masked, looting, burning stores, and throwing Molotov cocktails at riot police. Uh, Greek officials there are holding an emergency meeting to address all of this chaos. Well, the alleged Mumbai massacre m mastermind is now in Pakistani custody. Security forces raided an extremist military camp in Kashmir. The United States says the man is linked to al-Qaeda. This was Pakistan's first response to U.S. and Indian demands for action against the attackers. Gunmen stormed India's financial center last month, killing 172 people, and that includes six Americans. Well, from terrorists captured to terrorists confessing, five men have told a military judge at Guantanamo that they want to immediately confess to plotting the 9-11 attack. Guilty pleas could lead to their executions. Among the group, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the alleged mastermind of September 11th. Much more ahead tonight on 7 News at 6.30. Puppies missing from a Florida pet store after what happened after hours. And you know what? It's all caught on camera. Camera also rolling as things really heat up inside this jail. And a train ride ends with a trip to the hospital after trouble on the tracks. We're coming back. What I really need is a droid who understands the binary language of moisture evaporators. Evaporators? In the movies, making water from thin air was once science fiction. But now in South Florida, fiction is a fact. You plug it in the wall, you flip the on switch, and in about two minutes, it starts making water. Drinking water from the air in your house. The water in the air is abundant, and all you have to do is go get it. And now you can go get it and never have to pay for bottled water again. Water from thin air. Is it any good? I'm Patrick Frazier. We'll have the answer tonight at 10 on 7 News. The Toyotathon of Toyotathons is on now at your Toyota dealer. Visit your local Toyota dealer today and get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2008 Toyota 4Runner. Toyota, moving forward. Water appearing out of thin air. A new device is turning science fiction into reality. It'll produce up to 300 gallons. How much does it cost? And how does the water taste? Patrick gets the answer. Out of thin air. Tonight at 10 on 7 News. Subway, home of the famous $5 footlong. Lots of fresh, delicious footlongs for just $5 each. Fill up on a footlong today. At Subway. Happy Holidays from Lexus of Kendall and Lexus of West Kendall. Hit me. Announcing a new star at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Blackjack. Come deal yourself in at a real casino. Now, for the first time ever in Florida, you can play real Blackjack in other top casino table games like Baccarat and Pi Gal. When you're ready for the real deal in action and excitement, ask for Jack. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Blackjack is here. Hit me. The Toyotathon of Toyotathons is on now at your Toyota dealer. Visit your local Toyota dealer today and get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2008 Toyota Tacoma. Toyota, moving forward. Closed captioning sponsored by Ashley Furniture Home Stores. Now offering delivery today, every day, and no interest until 2012. Crime caught on camera as dog nappers take the pick of the litter at one South Florida store. Authorities trying to track down the thieves who made off with some very pricey animals. They're hoping their best clue so far will help break this canine caper. The All About Puppies store in Tampa was closed. The dogs inside were all sleeping, but surveillance cameras were awake. 
Two men dressed in dark colors break in the front of the store. The dogs start to go nuts. One of the men kneels down, takes a puppy from its cage while the other steals the one next to it. As quickly as the men came in, they were gone. It's our biggest time of year, and this was obviously a bad way to start it out. With the holiday season upon them, the burglary is very upsetting. The one that was taken was in this pen by himself. The thieves snatched two puppies from the store. Hello. Hi. The first, a three-month-old English bulldog valued at nearly three grand. It looked just like this one. And the puggle looks very similar to this. The nose is a little shorter and black. The second is a pug beagle hybrid called a puggle, valued at almost a thousand dollars. Prices aside, not knowing where these dogs are is tough. They're our little kids. I mean, they are. We we come in every day. We're here at six in the morning until you know eight nine at nine at night taking care of them. This is the second time this year the store has been burglarized. We have taken some extra security measures. After the last robbery, workers found the wires outside the store had been cut. There was no surveillance video to go off of. This time, their cameras captured everything. They just hope someone who sees this will know something about these two missing puppies. Well, earlier this year, thieves broke in and stole 10 puppies worth more than $13,000. Those dogs were never returned and the thieves were never caught. Lindy. All right, Charles, still ahead from the news station, one inmate may be burning to get out of jail. The video ahead after the break. And the chilly start to the day, take a look at the morning lows in the 50s all across South Florida from Perrine through Miami, but now we can say goodbye to that and some warmer weather is in store. The entire forecast in just a couple minutes. Proof that all good things come in threes. Lauderdale BMW introduces the new redesigned 2009 3 Series. Lease starting from just $389 a month or 0.9% financing. As always, zero cost, full maintenance. Redefining the category with exceptional design and performance. The new 2009 3 Series at Lauderdale BMW. The real difference. Two locations in Fort Lauderdale and Pembroke Pines. At Brands Mart USA, why wait for a huge Christmas sale when you can save now? Get a portable DVD player from AudioBox for $68.88. E-Tex 500 watt audio video entertainment system is $98.88. A digital camera from Samsung with case and batteries is $98.88. Sony's 1080p DVD recorder is $118.88. A Samsung 1000 watt audio video entertainment system is $248.88. Panasonic noise canceling headphones included, a $100 value. See BrandsMartUSA.com for extended holiday hours. Brands Mart USA, of course, your favorite brands at low, low prices. Buy in the Brands Mart way. Heinz Lincoln Mercury I-75 at Sheridan Street, a great place to buy. It's our people, that's why. In today's world, that makes a difference. At Pines, you'll meet great people and get a great price. Employee Pricing Plus is here. The all-new 2009 Lincoln MKS. Now you can lease one for $3.99 a month for 39 months. That's just $3.99 a month for the all-new 2009 Lincoln MKS. Customer care, service, and price all meet at the crossroads of I-75 and Sheridan Street. Pines Lincoln Mercury. When people say you shouldn't, show them why you should. Here's the matrix. When people say you can't, show them why you can't. Beasley with a... When people say you won't, show them why you will. Another steal. Three. Watch it again. Here. Two hit. Then there will be no doubters. Three. Inside. Got it and fouled. Oh, what a play by Wade. Right, left, middle. He was everywhere. At Marooney.com, you get one thing most car dealers don't give you, answers. Do you have certified used cars on sale? Yes. At Marooney.com, our entire inventory of factory certified used vehicles start as low as $10,995. Why should I buy a certified used vehicle? It's worry-free. Shop hundreds of certified used vehicles, backed by a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty, money-back guarantee, and more. Questions? Answers. Marooney.com. Heading cross country right now, a blaze behind bars in a Massachusetts jail is caught on camera. Take a look for yourself. Cameras rolling on an inmate setting his clothing on fire inside his jail cell at a Boston facility. Parts of the jail were evacuated as a precaution. The inmate was treated for smoke inhalation and has now been placed on suicide watch. Crazy. Another fire tearing through a neighborhood in Maryland. The flames destroying two shoreline homes and causing some damage to a third along Chesapeake Bay. 
100 firefighters battled this blaze. Two fire crews suffered minor injuries. No one else was hurt, and no word would spark the fire. Trouble on the tracks in Illinois. An Amtrak train derailing near Springfield. Officials believe a semi truck plowed into the train, causing it to roll off the tracks. Three people were transported to the hospital for treatment. Their condition is unknown, and the accident is under investigation. Now, time for seven weather with Chief Meteorologist Phil Barrow. At the average high for this time of year is 78 degrees, the average low 63. So today, below that, as a matter of fact, we started out in the 50s 55 in Key West, Fort Lauderdale 56. 58 in Miami, and then the highs making it right around the mid 70s. We're looking at 72 degrees right now. Miami, partly cloudy skies, the breeze out of the east at around 9 miles per hour. Fort Lauderdale, 73. And for you in Key West, some clouds are rolling in with a temperature of 72. This is the local storm tracking radar. Earlier today, we saw some isolated sprinkles across the straits, but right now, Everything is looking nice and dry from Lake Okeechobee through Broward, Miami-Dade, and the Keys. Now, tomorrow we could still see a shower or two, but everything is looking mostly dry until Thursday. Let me show you the reason why. Right now, high pressure and firm control, so we will see a very pleasant night. The lows will be about 10 degrees warmer than they were this morning. So by tomorrow, we see a line of moisture setting up offshore. That could bring us a shower or two. And then the breeze also coming in out of the southeast will keep us warmer with highs in the low 80s. Now, towards the middle of the week, boy, the flow will continue to come in out of the tropics, so it will be warm and muggy. But now take a look at this front. It is a strong front with a lot of potential for thunderstorm activity. Once this clears South Florida sometime on Thursday, we will probably see a better chance of thunderstorms rumbling across Broward, Miami-Dade, and even the Keys. But it's not going to change our temperatures that much, but it will provide at least the fireworks for some thunderstorm activity. Here's the marine forecast. First, at the beaches, threat of rip currents tonight. Small craft exercise caution. The wind coming in out of the east around 15 to 20 knots. Seas of 2 to 4 feet, 6 feet in the Gulf Stream waters. The bay with a moderate chop. For you throughout the lower Florida Keys, also with an advisory, nearshore waters, choppy. Now, for this evening, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, mild as far as temperatures are concerned. We're looking at 69 at the coast, 64 inland, and for you throughout the Keys, right around 70 degrees. And then by tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, 80 at the coast, 81 inland. The beach breeze will still be there, so we could see a shower or two. And here is your extended outlook. As that front approaches uh, Florida on Thursday, we could see a better chance for thunderstorms. And that's your 7 on 7 forecast. Thank you, Phil. Coming up next on 7 News at 630, with just three games to play, the Finns find themselves tied for first place in the division. Can you believe it? We're going to hear from the team on their success in seven sports. Then on Deco Drive tonight after the news, they turned partying into an art. So Paris and Nikki Hilton fit right in in Art Basel this weekend. Get your art on. One more time, one last time with Deco Drive tonight at 730. It's the season for giving. So why not give the very best? Like the captivating Infinity EX or the stunning performance of the Infinity M. They're gifts you can enjoy every day of the year. Visit the Infinity Limited Engagement Winter Event now to take advantage of our best offers of the year. Lease an Infinity EX for $3.99 per month or get 0% APR financing. I really wish I could be there this year. I miss you guys. We're going to miss you too. We all understand. Yeah. I should probably get going. I love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetie. Bye. So are you going to see family? No. They're all up at my parents. I'll see you tomorrow. Anybody know where the calendar is? Yes, I do. Did you and Grandma sweetie. make those cookies? Hey, Mom. Uh, I almost forgot. I wish everyone happy holidays for me. Of course I will. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure.
If you're 100 pounds or more overweight, come learn about weight loss surgery at a seminar this month at Palmetto General Hospital. It can change your life. Details at WSVN.com. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the main event. West Kendall Toyota on Southwest 136th Street versus Kendall Toyota on South Dixie Highway. The challenge is to have the biggest sale of the year with knockout deals on Toyota with zero down payment, zero APR, zero payments till 2010, and zero hassle. It's a no holds barred contest between Kendall Toyota and West Kendall Toyota to give you the best deal on a new Toyota. In this fight, the winner will be you. Closed captioning sponsored by City Furniture. Offering same-day delivery and no interest until 2012. Time now for 7 Sports with Steve Shapiro. We were talking in the sports department, as we sometimes do. The best thing that happened to the Dolphins last offseason was Brett Favre going to the Jets. That enabled Chad Pennington to go to the Dolphins. Yesterday, he was 23 of 29, had one touchdown. The Dolphins beat the Buffalo Bills 16 to 3. Pennington became the third Dolphins quarterback after Marino and Fiedler to pass over 3,000 yards in one season. It takes a special guy to, um, to put his personal agenda aside. He understands exactly what the goal is. I mean, the guy will come to the sideline, and in some of those situations, he'll be looking at me saying, let's run the ball, coach. Um, he means an awful lot to what we're doing right now. He's been good. Eight and five now. San Francisco here next Sunday. Along with the Dolphins, the Baltimore Ravens, one of the hottest teams in the NFL. Tonight is about each other. Tonight is about relentless football. Anything about it, touch the football. Can't get knocked out tonight. Let's do what we do best on three. One, two, three. Oh! Ray Lewis against Washington. The Canes fans will have mixed feelings about this play. Washington ball, the fumble by former Kane Clinton Portis, the recovery by former Kane Ed Reed. Returns it for a touchdown. Reed also had two interceptions in the game. Here's the play of the game. The Ravens lead by seven. Joe Flacco quarterback underthrows Derek Mason, but he still makes the catch. Baltimore wins 24 to 10, three in a row and seven out of eight. The Eagles end the Giants' winning streak at six. Phillies' Trent Cole leapfrogs to block this field goal. Whoop. Snaps John Carney's streak at 14 straight, and the Eagles beat the Giants 20 to 14. Also yesterday, the Cowboys blow a 13-3 lead at Pittsburgh. Game tied. The boys' Tony Romo gets picked off by Deshae Townsend. Pittsburgh beats Dallas 20 to 13. That means that the Giants win the NFC East even though they lost their game. Your Florida Panthers, they start a five-game road trip tonight in Ottawa. Highlights first at 10. He will be a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. Pitcher Greg Maddox announcing his retirement today during the winter meetings in Las Vegas, 23 years in the leagues. He won 355 games. That's eighth most uh, overall. Maddox won four Cy Young Awards and 18 gold gloves. Appreciate everything this game's given me. Uh, it's going to be hard to walk away, obviously, but, you know, it's time. And, uh, you know, I have a family now that I need to spend some more time with. Uh, you know, I still think I could play the game, but not as well as I would like to. 23 years in the big leagues. That's it. I'm Steve Shapiro. Lynn and Charles are back right after this.